Oh my god. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh my god, that piece is going to come out. Toby, third time on the channel and you're in Norway. A little bit too excited to be honest. Yeah. Let's be honest. I caught one of your replies, but you set out a little map of what's coming next for me and I started sh cacking my pants right now. <laughs> so let's take a step back. Who is Toby? Who am I? And why is Toby currently in Norway with me cacking his pants? I'm a professional climber who specializes in two forms of climbing. The first being crack climbing and the second being big walls. Toby, well he's one of the best parkour athletes in the world who I'd actually first come across via his channel Stora. I noticed he was really getting into his climbing so I reached out to him and asked if he'd be up for a climbing collab. Tom and I threw Toby in at the deep end on some crack cellar exercises. Oh, this is good. For someone who hadn't done any jamming before, he picked up the basics incredibly quickly. So quickly, I then invited him for round two a few months later. Doing this route as your first trad lead isn't normal but i saw a lot of ability in his composure and determination when climbing so roll on 2022 and i decided to take it up a notch and invited him to norway to see if it was possible to turn a parkour athlete into a competent wall climber in just five days is that gear supposed to be a joke or something jesus so over the next five videos we'll be seeing the carnage unfold I would like to be able to get you to the point where you can climb a wall either swinging leads or if it's something smaller like this then you lead everything. Oh. So we've got lots planned, lots planned. Up to the weather though isn't it? A light drizzle to wet the lips. It's pretty soggy. It's yeah. pretty yeah, soggy. It's pretty soggy. And up to how much I know, how sketchy I am. That's a bit shit probably break that off De can definitely crack on whether you want to put your life in my hands <laughs> we were discussing in the car like worst case scenarios yeah which is toby leads sets up the belay i follow toby rips the belay out <laughs> <laughs> i fall off and we both fall to our death but hopefully that's not well no that's not going to happen that's definitely not going to happen no 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 task one of the day was to unpack a factory rope and i've managed to uh yeah how about you guys name the knot <laughs> what do you reckon that is how have I done that? I said to bring a belay plate with guide mode. Yeah. Have you ever used guide mode? I have, yeah. Oh, you yeah. have? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah. So you know what it's all about? Yeah. I oh, you know how it works? Yeah. Oh, we're yeah. in business. <laughs> we're in, we're in. Okay, well, we don't need to run through that. So, well, I mean... The rack, for something like this, I would usually take a double rack of friends. You're not used to the colours. No. Fingers, big baggy fingers, ring locks, thin hands, hands, and then cupped hands. I'll place lots of gear and then you can take lots of gear out. Well, that's what I was sort of banking on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I won't be, you know, stripping it without thinking. I think I'm going to have a good look at it. See so, yeah, what, I don't know, how you think, you know what I mean? In terms of where all that stuff goes and why you haven't picked another slot. I think we will take wires today, but I'm going to take like a small set. But have you used a nut key? Yeah. No. A nut tool? No. Have you seen what, you know what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what it is, yeah. Got one over there, yeah, yeah, yeah two long slings and when we get to the bottom I'll show you like how to make a trad belay. Uh, have you used prussics before? I have, yeah, you yeah, have. but I'll probably need a little refresh on that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then quick draws and then the final thing is obviously we need to know where we're going. Okay, yeah, so this is the topo for the wall. It's kind of like useful to be able to know how to read these in a way. So we're going to do comfortably numb. Comfortably numb. It's an interesting name, I wonder why it's uh, the dotted lines are where we're going to climb, so they're all the different routes. So starting over on the left here, that's like a, a dihedral or a corner. This thing here, that probably means some sort of like mini overlap. And if those lines there were on the underside of that line, then it would mean it was a, like a ledge. Like a ledge, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dark patches, they're roofs. These means like abseil point. These over here, uh, these are more just like cracks. So it's good to sort of like know the features and get a the bearing of the wall. Yeah, yeah. Um, before you set off. Yeah, I'm mad excited to be fair. I've only watched videos of this stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's sort of that kind of level. <laughs> yeah, once you start matching that up with that, then you're kind of sorted, aren't you? You know where you're going. 
You must have had times where you thought you were about to encounter something and something else has popped up and oh, you've got yeah. to go backwards. Yeah. There's plenty of times when you look at the top and you're like, what the hell? Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, that is like some <laughs> sort of riddle in some movie. I don't know. Some sort of cave painting you've got to get some, I don't know, archaeologist to work out. I've done two routes on Sharag now where I've tried to go up it and one time uh, didn't find it, ended up doing a new route. I thought I was on the route. This doesn't make sense. No, that didn't make sense in the topo, does it? At all. It's got dark on us. Hmm. I don't get it. No, I don't Where get are it. We? Who knows? And, and all the way to the top. Yeah, you think the thing is, you you like think you're matching things with the topo, and then you're not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like this must it be must that. Must be that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yep. Yeah, got it. This way. Yep. So I think the, imp the important thing with uh, like the trad belays is to start with three points of contact until you like, you can go down to two if you know they're absolutely like freaking train stoppers. Any which I can like put in fresh. That's nah, not going anywhere, is it, Matt? You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Steady, too early for, for, <laughs> for lines like that. <laughs> so if we imagine we've just climbed up here, which we haven't, and we get to this, and we get to this belay ledge, like the obvious thing to me here is obviously trees. I always make sure like you check the top of the tree, make sure it's not dead. Green's good. Like, yeah. But the thing with the rock, especially on like these things where it's a little bit bigger and mm. we're not like on sport climbs and or like in the peak where it's really solid. You gotta check so, yeah, it. Yeah, you've always gotta like check it. When you hit it, you're basically making sure first it didn't move. And also like it doesn't sound too hollow. Yeah. Uh, you like listen to the sound, how it feels. Grassy. That sort of stuff, I feel like it's off. It's more common sense. Uh -huh, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. What you also want to look for when you're making your belay is pick three different features. So you're not putting three pieces all within same. the same thing. Because yeah, yeah. then if that thing fails, then yeah. you, if the rock fails, it's it. lost its virginity, that cow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? Bomber? Bomber, I can't be, I make... can't be throwing around bomber this, at these <laughs> early stages. <laughs> Don't have the confidence. Give it a good test, but also uh, be aware that there's this like sort of thing. well, there's a drop behind you as well. So if, so it, if you yeah, if you like gave out, it a um, good test and you yeah. pulled it, you don't want to fall. We're going down. on a ride. Yeah, <laughs> we're going on a ride. <laughs> Aim for the bushes, sort of situation. <laughs> yeah. See, that just seems too big in my unexperienced. Look at that. He knew. Of course he knew. Ain't going nowhere, is it? Piece number three. We've got a tree. We've got some grass. Tufts of grass. <laughs> it has been known. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet. Yeah. yeah. Big enough tough. Yeah, big enough tough. Then plenty of them. Plenty of them. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 <laughs> Solid. Right. Right. Next step. And then you get your long sling. Clip. 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 You want to make sure it's going the way that you You're like gonna the direction. Be... If I'd come up to this ledge and was coming over here and I got to this belay, you'd want that a little bit more He's sending it over. that way, so then you'd tie your knot there. Whereas if we'd come up here, we'd want to bring it down that way, just basically so all the points are equalised. And then that's your main point, uh -huh. Giatu Klovich. Sometimes it takes me a couple goes, but yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> but I, yeah. <laughs> I know yeah. when it is one. <laughs> yeah. I use guide mode. Yeah. I tend to do it. I bet somebody's going to tell me like, yeah, I'm doing I was going to say, because like, I have no qualifications in this kind of stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. It's just what I prefer to do. Mate, you're still but, standing here. Wait, has start, it started when you're seven, me. so there's you probably could... somebody going, oh no, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no yeah. you don't know want to do it like that. Yeah. Don't, why are you teaching me that? <laughs> and I tend to keep that slightly above there uh, because then it just keeps the belay plate out the way of this carabiner a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also put it underneath, so it's like got space to kind of dangle. The important thing is this: where you get it the correct way around. So that's going to my climber. Yeah, yeah. And then the climber's coming out the top. Chilling. Then it's good. Chilling. And then I can also film you. Because oh. you don't, you can, you can let go you of that. You can literally leave that, yeah. You'll get shouted, so you'll get shouted at that for yeah, that. Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay, <laughs> well what I'll do, what I'll do is I'll do this. <laughs> there you go, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, right. <laughs> right, I'll keep hold of that. But that's, so that's off. basically, that's your basic belay. Oi, rocks. Yeah, that's so why I should put helmets on at the bottom. That was a late call, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? It had gone past us. <laughs> it's a bit wide. Yeah, so I would go for a longer sling on the right-hand one to then bring it down so you could then clip that blue one lower. All right, yeah, it's looking all right, isn't it? 
Oh, that is satisfying to uh, brush up on that, actually. That's yeah. great. I've yeah. never done a trout anchor like that, ever. Oh, good. Well, there we go. So is that a brush up? No, it's no, just, that's just, just, just totally doing normal. it. <laughs> that's just doing it. <laughs> Result, YouTube. Result. <laughs> so you can just extend the beaner over. Yeah, yeah, got ya, got ya. I've just done pitch one. Um, <laughs> I'm not even sure if we're actually going the right way, uh, but I'm not gonna tell Toby that. I've seen lots of gear, but I'm not sure if that's actually some bale beaner there. I don't really know. But I've just stopped here, uh, did a little short pitch, and then um, uh, Toby can sort of see what the, the swap overs and change overs are like. Ah started filming at the punt a bit. <laughs> hmm. And up there, I think I'm going to maybe head a little bit to the right to get away these of these loose blocks. But I found a nice little belay here. So we've got a big cam four in there, three over to the side in a really nice crack out there. Maybe people are gonna complain at my sling across a, an edge. It's quite funny how I uh, I was telling Toby three points of uh, like we're gonna build anchors out of three points and then I get to this belay and I've put two points in. Say again. Oh no. Oh you at that purple one. It's, it's rotating down like already and I can't get it back. <laughs> Is it yours? Huh? Is it yours? Or is it mine? Because that makes all the difference. Rotate it up and then pull it out the narrow point with one lobe at a time. Hey! Total mission. <laughs> nice, right, okay. So that's the thing. Take your time when you're getting the cams out. You kind of just lay back this. Off with it then. Nice. That was a cool little bit. But it'd be interesting to see what he thinks of, of that pitch because it's kind of like, it's not, it's not quality, let's put it that way. It's not quality. It's a little bit, it's a little bit chossy. How is it? Good, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's a good level. It's fucking great. This is fucking wicked, man. I love it. <laughs> Ooh, nice. nice. First chapter down. First chapter down. Boom. Yeah. Oh, that, was... <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, good. That was really good. Yeah, yeah. I need to get a bit more handy with the double rope belay. Right, okay, few, yeah. Yeah. Just a few points where suddenly there was just loads of slack just coming all the way down. I don't oh, know what's yeah. happening there. Yeah, that's but... probably because I've clipped up with one rope and then I climb up. Yeah. And it's that rope feeds back got through ya, got round, ya. and the other one's kind of feeding out if that makes sense yeah yeah Bloody i'm God. not sure if this was actually a belay but i just decided this nice little ledge so it's yeah good it's cozy yeah yeah, yeah. that's intimidating bloody hell that big block or no just the, the, just the imposing wall above us oh, right, <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah well we're heading to that can you see the chimney up there where the tree is coming out the chimney Over there yeah yeah that's what we're heading for so we kind of go we go up and uh, right right cool Number two, let's have it. Finger jumps here. Because <laughs> I've done loads of them. <laughs> Journey down here. Have to do a down climb. Down climb time. Is that the route? <laughs> so we're at the end of pitch number two. That was a right little ramble. I'm still definitely not sure we've gone the right way or we went the right way on those bottom pitches, but we're definitely back on route now because this is that corner system. Okay. I can't hear anything. I think Pete's up there. Okay, that's me! Am I safe to climb? Right, I think that's me. Sweet, okay. 
Oh God, that's strange when you don't 100% know what's been said. I've got tension on the ropes, so I assume we're good to go. How do I get that? <sighs> All right. I think uh, he'll enjoy that pitch. It's like a little, a little adventure. Okay, climbing! That's scary. <laughs> uh, should be wearing the gloves, really. All right. Sorry, Pete. I might have to lay back this. <laughs> oh no. We're all right. Do what they taught you, pal. Knees to the centre. Oh, Jug City. Thank the freaking Lord. Oh, God. Oh, there's some extra level of nerves I've got, I think, because I can't hear Pete. So I don't have that, like, <laughs> safety and communication. I think I've maybe gotten used to. Oh, it's all right, so you guys just uh, get slow and steady. It's not like I'm really fucking thirsty and should have had a drink before I set off on this one, but oh well. I'm really interested to see what Toby's thoughts are when he gets to the belay again. Um, just on whether he enjoyed the climbing or all that kind of stuff, because. I mean, it was nice, but I don't think it was totally classic, those first two pitches. But these uh, top pitches um, should be much nicer, I think. Should be, should be good. We will see, we will see. Tricky. Ah. Fuck. How does he get this? <laughs> Come on, you bastard. Fuck. Oh my god, fucking saga. Uh. Oh, f Jesus Christ. Oh. Look at that. Slice my hands up. But it's out. Right, Pete, I'm coming. Sorry. Removing cams 101. That is the one YouTube black hole I have not entered yet clearly all oh, right here we go take two <laughs> let's get that tool out we use one of these give it a nudge come out the top right oh god here we go hey getting worried there i'm gonna have a repeat scenario oh jesus right wonder when the last time pete's been out with a hunter at this level. Jesus Christ. I'm going to be really impressed if we can get Toby to um, lead some of this stuff. For example, lead me up this wall or, you know, swing leads on a different wall or something like that, you know, in just a few days from a parkour background and then coming up these walls. It's going to be really interesting to see whether, uh, see whether we manage to get him to, to do that. Yeah, it's going to be exciting to see. Oh, down climb. Right. A little down climb. So I basically had to put no gear in because uh, I didn't want to shaft Toby uh, with the down climb and then he would basically be on lead, so couldn't do that. <sighs> Cheeky. Around the corner. Oh, another great. Slow and steady. Okay. Here he is, enjoying the life of a bushy big wall. He's done the little down climb, and he is on his way. That is terrible footage. Bloody hell, mate. Oh. Probably supposed to shout something, aren't you? 
That's great, you can, man. Which one? In the little, like, slot, mate. My fingers are destroyed. Oh, no. I've had a total battle with that cam, man. <laughs> You're going to have fun going through that clip. I'm furious. The timing was all right. Yeah. Cam removal. Just <laughs> chop myself up, man. <laughs> oh, no. Like, when do you when do you just leave it? <laughs> I'm so fucking yeah, sleepy. Yeah. Like, I've been trying everything. <laughs> I think the pictures get a little bit more nice now. I mean... I have no gauge. That was, no. that was lovely to That was me. lovely. Apart lovely from the pitch. knuckle battle with the edge <laughs> of a rock. Yeah. <laughs> pitch three is off. Next bit is probably the most tricky bit. I think Toby's going to be really psyched with this uh, next pitch because it's actually decent climbing. And I think something like that is definitely something um, he could lead. How's the gear on this pitch? A bit easier to get out? Uh, yeah. Good. I feel like sometimes those easy pitches that are wandery actually take a bit more experience in the like on the walls to be able to root find. Whereas things like that, which are actually a bit harder, it's probably actually going to be easier because it's sort of like it's less root finding and you can really focus on the climbing and uh, the gear placing in front of you rather than so much the root finding which can can often be like some of the hardest parts of climbing bigger routes especially climbing big new routes oh I'm all worn out <laughs> it definitely is part of the part of the experience and part of the game I think with climbing these walls Let's see how he's getting on that's the first like borderline pump I've had oh uh, right good yeah i mean obviously it's my first time on anything this kind of yeah scale but seeing those uh, how far for my ability how far apart the gear was on that there oh yeah it's too far that is fascinating it's, to me. it's too far apart for yeah 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 you don't want to be doing that <laughs> <laughs> no when it's when it's when it's your lead we'll bring more rack you know, i'm going past and i'm like oh this bit of gear is pop out like am i good to get it out let alone put it in you know what i mean yeah yeah it's not so uh freaking roasting Pete's just said I'm going to love the uh, chimney climb with this bag on. <laughs> he said it like he didn't know there was a chimney up there before he set off. But yeah, anyway, he's given me a little trick to hang it between my legs off the harness. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. It's all, it's all the sort of stuff you can't really find on YouTube. All the extra little bits. Top out scenes. Top out scenes. Well, not top out scenes yet. Toby's not arrived but he's charging. Right, Still not very good at sorting all this stuff out as I go. <laughs> Just give it a bit of that, a bit of this. Bloody hell. I'm in a little hole up a mountain. What is life? Oh, God. You can see why Alex does all this shit with no ropes. So much faff. Very curious to see what this chimney is about, really. Is this where you were saying to put the bag, hang the bag? Uh, yeah, I think so, but you might be alright to be honest. Alright, bag's coming off. <laughs> I don't really know how I'm going to do this, I think I'm just going to wing it. Yeah, wing it. That's always the way. Back and foot technique. I feel like you're used to this from the, uh, from the streets. I've seen you sliding down chimneys and all sorts. 
Yeah, down's alright. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, the technique for chimneys, just make sure you don't overstretch. Yeah, you lose your feet, don't you? Cruising it. First route of the trip. Is that it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Bosh. Sick. Boom. The bit that's never in any climbing videos. You're getting down. Getting down. It's important when we do this actually that we, because we're doing on uh, double ropes, that we remember which rope is going through. Because um, then you want to pull, pull the orange pull one. The orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you pull in the orange, like thread the orange through as you're pulling it. So on the next view, oh, you thread cheeky. It as you're yeah, it. nice. You can often forget, like, oh, was it green or was it orange that I was pulling? I know I want to pull orange on this. So you can just clip that to orange oh, as you're going down. Nice. Um, and the other important thing, seems really obvious not to do, but uh, don't attach yourself to the off. Oh, like, if you make them too long, don't make that mistake either. You're so used to this stuff, it's funny. This is unreal, this spot we're in right now. <laughs> There's people up there. Hello. Sorry, Pete, that was a, bit, a little bit weird. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's doing up there. We always get some uh, questions on the channel, actually, of when we climb these walls, how do you actually get back down? Because we've never actually shown it. We've shown a lot of like climbing these walls, but not actually how you get down. Bloody hell. Here we are, showing you how we do it, abseiling. By far the sickest I've so ever done in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull the orange, you keep all the green. Yeah, go on. So take the, not out the green. Yep. Whipped there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Smoke coming off your back. <laughs> oh my god, man. It's flipping dream come true sort of shit right now. I'm not even joking. I think he's totally loving these abseils, which is funny. <laughs> But it's good. That was epic. Day one in the bag. Oh, so good. <laughs> yeah, oh, good. Yeah, oh, good. Just a bit epic, mate. Yeah. That is, for me, that is epic. That is epic. Yeah, good. That, oh, is, good. that yeah, is epic, good. man. That's yeah. good to hear. Oh, mate, big time. Yeah. yeah. Was it that third pitch? The third pitch is the best pitch. Banger. Yeah, it was a good pitch, yeah. Banger. I feel like that's something you could lead. Oh. Like, potentially. I don't know, what do you think, mate? Could I lead that? I. Ooh, I'd be ner I'd be nervous too, yeah, definitely. But, yeah. Um, but probably, probably could. I mean, the thing is, is like I'm basing it off where I noticed you placing stuff. Yeah. I think if I found my safe spots and looked and spent real time looking around those areas, and sort of, if I was above gear, even if it was bomber now, and I was even like fairly stuck, I'd be pumping out like fucking, yeah, you know, just over gripping, over gripping, trying yeah. to like do it quick, you know. I think I would. So. Mm. I'd definitely love to lead some stuff. If you enjoyed day one, subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes from this series. You're not going to want to miss day two. That gear's supposed to be a joke or something. Earlier viewers, you can set a reminder for tomorrow's premiere, or if you're later, dive straight into day two now. Go on, it's a good one. It's down there, yeah? All right. I'd love to place another bit, but f*** all about.